first of all, uh, I want to say thank you for having me. This is really uh, my absolute favorite subject to talk about. And trading can be super, super challenging. And I just believe it's really important to have an edge and to have something in your favor, make it so that if all other things are equal, you just tend to win. So what we're gonna talk about today is something very specific. It's how to turn every Friday into a thousand dollar payday by risking just $1,500. And some quick math tells us that's a pretty, uh, pretty substantial return. It's, it's about 67%. Um, and the key with this is it's all while having an 80 to 90% chance of winning on every trade. So let's kind of get into the details. And before we do, I just wanna introduce myself if you don't know me. My name is Peter Schultz. As Renee said, I'm the president of Cashflow Heaven Publishing, and I'm the chief strategist for a very specific strategy called the Winning Secret. And that's what we're going to talk about. Um, this is a strategy that gives just about anybody, it doesn't matter who you are or what your experience with trading has been in the past, it gives you such a mathematical edge, such a probability of winning. Even if trading has been a challenge for you, before. I think um, this just sets the probability so much in your favor, you just tend to win in spite of yourself. So I have this saying, and I love these little memes on the internet, um, you know, keep calm and do this and that. And this one says, keep calm and estimate the probability. And here's what happens with traders, particularly options traders or futures traders, or anybody that's using a lot of leverage in their trading, is they tend to look at their trades particularly in the beginning, and they go, look at how much money that I could potentially make. My goodness, if I buy this, you know, this call or this put or whatever it happens to be, and if the stock just moves a little bit, I could double my money, I could triple my money. And that gets really, really exciting. When I first got into options trading back in the mid 90s, I thought when I looked at these trades and I looked at what some of these options turned into, I thought my biggest problem in life was going to be what color my Mercedes Benz was going to be. And then a funny thing happened on the way to depositing my million dollars in the bank. You know, the options would turn around, they would reverse, volatility would collapse, all these crazy things would happen, and I would end up losing on the trade. And if you've had this experience and this kind of fr frustration, you know what I'm talking about. What I realized after a while is what the pros do, and this is really what separates the amateurs from the pros, is they always estimate their probability of winning on every trade. So it's not how much can you make. You know, that's really exciting. And that's the new person that's really got great big eyes and they're looking at all these, this potential money that they could make. But it's really about what are your chances of winning? What is the probability? So when it comes to stacking the probabilities in your, in your side, in your favor, there is no strategy in existence that gives you a better chance of winning than selling credit spreads. Now, if you're familiar with the strategy, if you've done it, if you go, oh, ho-hum, you know, I've done that before, I know all about that, just stick with me for a little bit because you're gonna see some things you probably didn't know before, you're gonna find some things out about options theory you probably didn't know before, and I think by the end of this presentation, you're gonna be just as excited as I am about, about implementing this strategy, making it your go-to. So credit spreads are a lot different than any other type of trading. With credit spreads, you don't have to pick where the stock is going to go, just where it's not going to go. And that's a whole lot easier. So here's a really good example. This is a trade we did a while back. So this is the biotech index. And you can see that there's a very, very well-defined uptrend line and it broke the uptrend line. It actually did it on fairly good volume. It actually gapped down and this is a really strong, I mean, this is your strongest technical indicator that that trend is broken. You know, what, what happens sometimes is the stock struggles back up to that uptrend line, which is now turned into new resistance, and then it turns around and heads back down again. So what we did is we just sold a spread. So you're selling this bottom line right here. You sell that option. And what I love about this is there's always a uh, finish line. So this vertical line here is expiration. So you sell this one that's closest to the underline, you buy one that's in this case, uh, two and a half dollars away from it. The one that you're selling is closer to the underline, so it has more value and so than, than the one that you're buying as the hedge. And so that creates an instant and immediate credit in your account. Well, here's the cool thing about this. You know, this stock might bobble around all over the place, 
but all it has to do is not reverse all the way back up here and touch our sold strike in order for us to win. So once again, figuring out where the stock is not gonna go, or just kind of taking a look at a chart, and you know, probably everybody that's watching this is familiar enough, enough with charts to be able to do this. Um, <laughs> you, you have such a huge advantage. We're actually gonna quantify that. So why does the strategy work so well? Well, maybe before, Close only worked with horseshoes and hand grenades. But now you can add one more to that list because with credit spreads, close is good enough. You know, if you're an options buyer and you're, you know, reading your charts and you're looking at what to buy and, you know, you're, you're going to buy this call because the stock is going up. Well, it's great that the stock's going up. It's great that that's the direction that it's going. But you don't only have to be right on direction. You have to be right on timing. And I can't tell you, I still dabble with like 90% of my account, I do this because it's just my bread and butter and money just comes in and comes in and comes in. With 10% of my account, I see trade setups and I still buy puts and calls. And I'm just amazed at how many times the stock does exactly what you think it's going to do the Monday after expiration. And it's just the most frustrating thing in the world. You know, you were right. Your thesis was, was correct. Yeah, you know, they had terrible earnings or whatever. You know, the stock is going to go down. But for some reason, it just doesn't do it on your schedule. So you have to be so precise to make money. You have to be so right so much of the time to make money as an as a options buyer. And all of those probabilities completely shift over into your favor as an options seller. And it's so cool where you go, oh, I guess I wasn't exactly right on that stock. But, oh, what do you know? I won anyway. Let's just take a look at this. This is this horseshoes and hand grenade. So with this kind of trading, you'll automatically win on four out of the five things that a stock can do. So let's just take a look at those. So let's just say that, you know, here's a, here's a, a setup that you're looking at and you see up here, um, you see that, whoops, let's get back here. Oh, we got to go back, back, back. Um, So, uh, so all that has to happen is for a credit spread to not touch your sold strike. And let me see if I can get, yeah, here's our five things. So you see that it peaked here, back here with this big red bar. It reversed, came down, came down to about $150 support, came back up again, and then gapped down and reversed again. So let's say you're reading this chart and you say, okay, I think based on these lower highs, I think the stock is going to go down. So let's say that I put a credit spread, I sell a credit spread up here at about, oh, I don't know, the 160, 162, 50 levels somewhere up here. And the stock is down here at 157. So let's just take a look at what has to happen in order for you to lose here. So if there's only five things that a stock can do, it can go up dramatically. It can just shoot straight up from where it's at. That happens sometimes. Or it can climb gradually. That's the other thing that it can do. It can kind of waffle sideways. So if you look at what the stock's been doing for the last few days, it's just kind of moving sideways. It can also go down gradually. It can just drop a little bit. It can kind of fade. Or it can drop like a rock. Some really bad news can come out, something happens, and the stock really, really goes down. Well, if you have a credit spread up here, there's only one scenario here that can threaten your credit spread. And that is, say, say you have a credit spread that's sold up here at the 162.50, and then you buy the 165 call to hedge. There's only one scenario where you can actually lose money here, and that is, is if the stock just goes straight up. You know, we've already got a stock that's kind of trending lower. It gapped down. It's kind of languishing here. Traders are not real sure if they want to own it. And we have a situation where the only way we can lose on this trade is if the thing goes up, it reverses course and it goes straight up and it does it fairly quickly. It has to do it really, really fast. So if it does anything else, if it does any of these other five scenarios, then you're going to win on the trade. And I just absolutely love those odds. So here's our biotech index again, where it's dropped through this uptrend line. So we've got, you know, we've got a reversal. We've got kind of a new trend going on here. 
So all that has to happen to make maximum profits on a credit spread is for it to go to expir its expiration date without having exceeded your sold strike. Now, what's interesting is, is you don't even necessarily have to let it go to its expiration date. If it's lost enough value by dropping really quickly and going away from the strike that you sold, you know, you can just close that spread and book your profits. So when you sell an out of the money option, it's important for you to understand what you're really selling is time, right? So options have two value values. There's extrinsic value, that's time value. That's anything that's out of the money. That's like above your call strike or, or below your put strike. Um, and then there's intrinsic value. That's the amount that the option is in the money. So what, for our purposes, the only thing that we're ever selling, we never sell an in the money option, we always sell an out of the money option. So the only value on that option is time and time has value. That's why we're getting money. You know, who knows what could happen in that time period between now and expiration. But as that time runs out, so does its value. So here's a really good example. So you see where we initiated this trade right here. And there was a little pop up in the stock and we sold the spread. So this was the 327.50, 330 call spread and we sold it for 45 cents. So on a 250 spread, that's a pretty decent return. It's about a 19% return for a very short amount of time. In this case, it's, there's nine calendar days left until expiration. So with seven days left, so just two days have gone by out of our nine days, that same spread was just 17 cents. So let's take a look here. Uh, that, that's a 62% loss of value in just two trading days. That's huge. So one of the misconceptions people have about credit spreads or selling credit spreads is they believe that, you know, if you sell this thing, you have to hang on to it and you're kind of locked into it until expiration. But actually nothing could be further from the truth. Between volatility collapse and the underlying moving just a little distance away from the strike that you sold, you can have a massive loss in value in just a couple of days in a very short amount of time. In this case, it's 62%. So that's pretty big. And you know, if, if that loss of value continues, you can just close that spread and book your profit, remove all your risk, remove all of the money that's tied up in margin, and then you know, call it a trade, call it a win. So there are three main factors that determine an option's value. And these are the three main factors that you really want to keep an eye on and sort of master if you want to make money in the options market. So the first one, of course, is time, days until expiration. So what's interesting is, is when you're an options buyer, and that's what I was for many, many years at the beginning of my options trading career. So when you, when you buy an option, the time is constantly running out of that option. You need something to happen fairly quickly. And uh, there's an old saying that if you ever want time to go by really, really fast, it's just buy an option. And that expiration date just looms large in the windshield. It just is coming at you. And you're going, come on, come on, move, move. You know, you can't keep going sideways. You've got to do the move that I need it to before expiration. So, so days until expiration determine the time value of an option. And then the second one is, is how close the strike is to the stock price. So that determines the value of the option. Is it in the money? Is it out of the money? Is it at the money? Number three is how volatile is the stock? So how much does it move? And so that volatility really determines the time value because the more jumpy and the more energetic a stock is, the higher the time value to compensate, you know, both parties of the transaction for what this stock might do before expiration. So let's take a look at time value real quick here. Now, this is a, a typical time decay curve. And here you'll have, this is out 120 days. So this is four months. You go in one from the left and you'll see down here, this is 90 days and then 60 days, 30 days, and then finally expiration. Now, what I want you to notice about the shape of this curve, and this is really interesting, this is very, very important for you as an options trader, it's important for you to understand, is that options time decay is fairly flat the further out you go. 
you can see it's very flat four months out to three months out. And then it just only gets slightly steeper three months out to two months out. It steepens up a little bit here at, when you're two months out. But look at this point right here. See where it kind of gets steeper? This is in the last few days before a, an option goes from being the second month out to being front month. Now, once it's front month, look how steep it is. Look how steep this time decay is. Now, because an option isn't just a straight line of depreciation, whoops, let's get back there. Because it isn't just a straight line of depreciation, we can actually use the steepening curve to our advantage. And we want to. We want to set up some advantages that make it very difficult for us to lose and very easy for us to win. So options used to expire just once per month on the third Friday of the month. But the Options Clearing Corporation and the SEC made some big changes to options in the spring of 2012 when they allowed weeklies on certain stocks and indices to have expirations every Friday of the month. So there's two huge advantages to this improvement in the options market. And what I tell everybody, I started trading options back in the early 90s and or mid 90s, and it was tough. Bid ask spreads were really wide. Um, you only had an option, op, you know, expiration once per month. Um, you know, it was difficult to make money. Well, things have gotten so much better. So here's the two big advantages that this change in the options market did. Number one is it creates a lot more paydays. So instead of options just expiring once per month, now they expire every Friday. So if you think about that, instead of getting paid perhaps once a month, your payday being at expiration, now you have four paydays per month. You multiply that out by the entire year, that's 52 potential paydays in a year. That's a, that's a lot of chances to get paid. That's a lot of chances to, to be bringing in money that just makes a, a permanent home in your options account. So that's one really big advantage. The second advantage of this is is we can place our trades, we can determine how much time we sell now, how close to expiration, much more accurately, much more with much more flexibility. And we can really place our trades exactly where we want them on the time decay curve. I'm gonna show you how that works here in a second, but it's really, really cool. So these are the two advantages that I'm talking about. We can now sell an option for every Friday of the year if we want to, that's super exciting. Right here on the graphic, it says 52 times per year. That's great, 52 paydays. And number two, we can sell on the perfect point of the time decay curve. Really exciting. Okay, so, whoops. Let's get to the right spot. So the trick is to sell on the steepest part of the time decay curve you can and still get a decent credit. So where might this be? Um, let's just take a quick look here. Now, hopefully you can see my cursor. You know, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get my pen here. And um, let's see, choose pen color. Let's go red so they can see it really easy. Okay, so we have this time decay curve and you can see there's this point right here where the time decay curve starts steepening up right when it's about to become front month. And then it gets progressively steeper until it's practically going straight down. So the problem with this is if you sell too close to expiration, you're just not gonna get any money and you have to sell too close to the underline and it, it's kind of actually dangerous. So what we found with a lot of trial and error that there's this perfect spot from about two and a half weeks to about one and a half weeks until expiration. So if you're taking notes, if you wanna write something down that can really do you some good and put a lot of money in your pocket, write this down. So two and a half weeks to one and a half weeks till expiration, you sell in this kind of a sweet spot right here. You can still get pretty good credits. You can still sell a decent amount of a distance from the underline and um, and then you have all the advantage of this very steep part of the time decay curve where every single day actually makes a difference. Okay, let's move on. That's huge though. So where do we sell? Oh, let me see here with my, 
I believe I have to erase all drawings. Let's do that. Okay, let's get back here. So where do we sell? So this is very simple. This is another really good place for you to take notes. Sell your call spreads above resistance, fairly straightforward. So we obviously don't want them touched. Think of this as a game of tag. You don't want the underline to ever get up and touch your sold strike. That's the game that we're playing. So sell your call spreads above resistance, sell your put spreads below support for the amount of time you have left. So this is a trade that we just recently did on NVIDIA. So you can see, and I'm just gonna grab this pen one more time here, and you can see that this has pretty, NVIDIA has pretty strong horizontal support right about this level right here, at about at the 240 level. It's got more horizontal support right down here, and then it's got some pretty good uptrending support that's actually been extremely effective at supporting the stock. When it bounces down to this uptrend line, it bounces off of it and goes up. And it's done this for several days, validating this uptrend line. So what we really wanna do is we wanna sell below support and still get a decent credit. So what we did is we dropped down here and we sold right here. You can see we're below this, actually three levels of support. So we're selling below the strong level here, uptrend support and this weaker horizontal support here. We sold right down here. This looks like the 230 uh, strike. Let's take a look at this. Yeah, the 230 strike, and we bought the 227.50 strike. We got a 50 cent credit on a $2.50 spread. That's a 25% return for just about uh, nine days of time. Um, so a really good trade and um, <laughs> really effective, really good return. So that just gives you a, a very simple idea. So you wanna get a, a good return, you wanna sell on that cheap, steepest part of the time decay curve, and you wanna sell in a place where the stock is not likely to hit. So once again, where do we sell? So we're gonna take advantage of this Black-Scholes pricing model. And we wanna use that to really know what our exact percent chance of winning is. So we wanna sell our, our spreads so they have at least an 80% probability of winning. So our basic formula is we want to sell between an 80 and 90% probability of winning. And we're going to use this formula to do it. But here's the beauty of it. You don't know, have to know a single bit about the math of this formula to get the formula to make you money. And the reason is, is Thinkorswim has taken a lot of the work out of it for us. So on this particular trade, so this is the SPX, we can see it, and this is a recent chart of the SPX. We can see that there's a downtrend line here, and this was actually a horizontal wedge that last week the SPX broke out of to the upside. So that's really bullish behavior. A lot of the time when there's a breakout like this, the stock or the index will come back down. It'll test that level. So what was old resistance turns into new support. That's exactly what happened. It bounced off of it. We took that opportunity when it dipped down here here to sell a spread below support, below both horizontal support and downtrending support. So what was our probability of winning on this particular trade? And this is once again, this is about a nine, 10 day trade until expiration. We're out of the money by a pretty good chunk. So what's our probability? Now, the probability, the mathematical formula doesn't take any of the charting into consideration. It just says for the volatility of this particular underline, for the price of this particular underline, what is the mathematical probability of the underline being out of the money by expiration? So what you do is you go to the Thinkorswim platform. This is the one that I use. They have the best analytical tools. Uh, you know, they, they've got, they can get you filled on, in the inside the spread. They're just a great platform. Um, you know, nine out of 10 professional options traders use Thinkorswim. I was just out at a guy's place about two weeks ago. He manages a hedge fund, all credit spreads. He manages about $50 million and he uses Thinkorswim. So, you know, it, it comes highly recommended. So they have a feature there where you can set up your columns with what you want. And I set up my problems with the Delta. I want to know what Delta that I'm selling and the probability out of being out of the money. This is the most, one of the most important ones right here. So we're gonna go back to our pen here. 
This is probability of out of the money. That's what you want to know. That's the probability of success on that trade. So what we're selling here is the 20, we sold the 2665 puts. We bought the 2660 puts to hedge and the system will tell you exactly what your probability is. In this case, it's 80.94%. So we're just gonna call that 81%. And that's our probability without even taking the chart into consideration. So that's huge. So when I say, you know, getting an edge on your trading, this is what we're talking about. We're talking about you put on the trade, you go to take a shower, you slip on a bar of soap in the shower and you hit your head and go into a coma and you wake up the day after expiration and you go, oh my gosh, what do you know? I made money on that trade. So this is an 81% chance of making money even without considering the chart. If we go back, if we go back and we look at the chart, I'm gonna erase this and go back to that. We go back and look at our chart. We know that there's a support level here. There's actually two support levels. Uh, when it bounced the other day, it bounced off the uh, downtrending support line. It bounced, bounced off of horizontal support. And you know, it just looks like it's gonna keep on climbing up. We've got a higher high now. We've got a higher low. We've, since the beginning of April, we've got a little uptrend going on here. And chances are very, very good. Mathematically, it's an 81%, but I would argue it's an even better percent because the chart's on our side. So this is just a really quick and easy way to quantify exactly what your percent chance of winning is. And we, we always do trades with an 80 to 90% chance because what we found is, is that we can make plenty of money doing that. And there's really no reason to take on more risk. So the other thing is, is how do we use volatility to our advantage? So that was the third one in what determines the price of an option. So you wanna sell your credit spreads in times of high volatility, transitioning into low volatility. So volatility determines time value. Collapsing volatility synthetically shortens the time to expiration in terms of value of the option. Once again, this is something that you really wanna write down. If you're not aware of this already, if you're not trading this, good example is um, you'll see an earnings report and right before an earnings comes out, uh, you know, the volatility premium on the options on the stock is just absolutely gigantic. What's interesting is, is right after the earnings are released, oftentimes we'll see a huge spike in the, in the, uh, in the um, stock price one way or the other. And at that point, the volatility is still very high. It's still very much being priced in the options, but you can see which way the market is driving the stock and you can sell in the opposite direction. And then almost immediately the volatility collapses. So this is a, this is a really wonderful strategy. It's a great way to take advantage of earnings announcements in a way that really removes a lot of risk, but can put a huge amount of money in your pocket. So one of the interesting things about volatility is that it just doesn't last. So if we take a look at a chart of this VIX here, that's the volatility index on the S&P 500. So let's get our pen again. And what we'll notice is in times of high volatility, we're talking about maybe one, two, three days, the volatility is really high. Here, once again, one, two, three days, the volatility is high. Now volatility can be Below, let's say in, in this particular instance, anything below 12, we're going to say it's low volatility. Anything above 12, where it spikes up, is high volatility. Well, volatility can remain low for many, many, many days. A lot of people call low volatility complacency. And emotionally, it's a very easy place for human beings to be. Everything's going pretty good. Everybody has a lot of confidence in the market. Things are going fine. And so volatility can stay low for a really long time. When it does spike up, um, a lot of people call the VIX the fear gauge. And it spikes up, there's all, all this fear. This is uh, commiserate with a drop in the S&P 500. So when the S&P 500 drops very quickly, you'll see this, the VIX spike up. But what's interesting is, is it never lasts too long. So volatility lasts a couple of days, three days, maybe four days where it spikes back up and then it comes right back down again. So a big trick as an option seller is to sell volatility, collect this huge amount of premium, and then in two or three days, the volatility collapses and all of that money just, you know, all that premium just ends up 
in your brokerage account and the, the option all of a sudden becomes worth very, very little. And that's sort of synthetically shortening that time. It's almost like two weeks went by in terms of time decay, but maybe it was only three days. So this is another, it, it's an excellent way to make money um, with options. So let's get back to here and so let's just review real quickly. We now know, we've gone over the th three big um, factors that determine value in options. So we now know how to use time to our advantage by selling on the right part of the time decay curve, knowing where to sell our strikes, and knowing how volatility affects the time value of, your op of our options. So how do we put it all together to create a $1,000 paydays on any given Friday by risking just $1,500? and having over an 80% chance of winning to boot. How do we put that all together to make it work? So let's just take a look at some trades. So this is one that we just did very recently. This is actually a chart from what I provide my subscribers. So I'll write right on the chart of what's going on. The retracement on the SPX today is healthy and should open the door for higher prices ahead. However, we'll be giving this one plenty of room to move for a higher probability trade. So I'm telling people exactly what's going on. We're giving it lots of room to go up and down, even if it waffles sideways or even goes down, even if it uses this as support and follows it all the way down, we're still gonna win. This, this spread is still gonna expire worth us. If it starts, if it trends higher, like we think it's going to, uh, we'll, we'll win. Once again, on, on almost every scenario, except completely going straight down, we win on this particular trade. So in this case, we collected 85 cents or $850 on 10 contracts. And to protect ourselves, we set a stop right at our sold strike. So this is another place where you might wanna take notes. This is some good information. Options theory tells us that if we close right at the strike, the delta will be one half of the distance of the spread or on a five on a five dollar spread two dollars and fifty cents so on 10 contracts that's twenty five hundred dollars so if we subtract our credit our 850 dollar credit from the 2500 we're now making 850 um, by risking um, 1650 but can we do better so that's where we're at right now so let's just go over the math real quick. Here's the math for a $5 spread. The credit we brought in is 85 cents. Sometimes we get more, sometimes we get a little less, but around 80, 80 cents or so is about our minimum. And I'm just trying to give you a conservative example here. So the margin hold, the amount the broker's gonna make you set aside for this trade is $4.15. So we set a stop right at our sold strike. So our actual risk is $2.50. So we subtract our 85 cent credit from $2.50 on our actual risk, if our stop is hit, is $1.65. So on our 10 contract position, we're, we're, we're potentially making $850 and we're risking $1,650. So that's a 51% return. And that's a pretty darn good return. That's a 20% return using the full margin of $4.15, but it's a 51% return based on our actual risk. So let's take a look at another trade. So here's another one we did. So when the SPX dipped down here and we thought that this was temporary, it hit this support level and we sold the 2540 puts and you can see those down here uh, and we bought the 2535 puts for 90 cents on this dip. So we collected a little more, we collected 90 cents and then the index proceeded to climb higher. Then it dipped down. Well, let's just go here. So we started out selling a put spread on the SPX, taking in 90 cents and on, a, on a $5 spread. So that's a $4.10 margin. And that would have been a 21% return all by itself. So all by itself, it would have been a good trade. But can we do better? So when the index popped up, when it got high up here, we decided to sell the 2590 calls and bought the 2595 calls on this spike for 70 cents. Now we entered our orders for 60 or better. We actually did a little bit better. We collected 70 cents. So now you combine those two. So we got 90 down here. We got 70 up here. That's $1.60 if you combine the two of them. But what happened is, is the index went down. Whoops, let's get back and look at our chart. 
The index went down here and we closed our top spread. We sold, closed this top one. Remember, we originally collected 70 cents, but we closed it for five cents. And then the index bounced. It bounced right where it, it did before it, 25.50, bounced higher. And then this bottom spread expired worthless. So on the two, on the 90 and the 70, we originally collected $1.60. We closed the top spread for five cents, so we ended up netting $1.55 on this trade. So our reward is $1.55 for just seven trading days, and on 10 contracts, that's $1,550. But what's our risk? Once again, to limit losses, we set a stop loss right at our sold strike, or $2.50 on a $5 spread. So that's $2,500 on 10 contracts. So our credit is $1,550. So if we subtract that from 2,500, it comes to 950 in risk. So we actually made more uh, than we risk. We made you know, $1,550 and we only risk 1,000 by correctly timing our spreads. And so this is a way by setting up a condor, and one of the really cool things about this is that the broker doesn't make you hold margin on both sides. They just make you hold margin on one side because the broker understands this thing cannot expire in the money on both spreads at the same time. So when you collect money on the other side on a spike, um, it doesn't, they don't make you hold more margin, but you do get more credit. So that, that's just a huge benefit. And the other thing is, is if you're curious about how to time these, I never do a condor, almost never at the same time. If the stock or the index is towards the bottom of its range and we think it's gonna reverse, we sell a put spread. If it goes up towards the top of its range, like it did here, and we think it's gonna reverse, we'll sell a call spread. And by timing our spreads based on the chart, you can bring in a lot more money. You can spread the wings of your condor a lot wider to reduce your risk, and you can massively increase your profit. So let's go over this. Here's the math for this $5 spread. So with the credit we brought in on both spreads, the net after we closed the one position was $1.55. Our risk is whatever's left out of the $5 spread. In this case, that's $3.45. We set our stop at our sold strike, so our actual risk is $2.50. We subtract our credit, our actual risk is 95 cents. So on a 10 contract position, you're bringing in 15.50 and risk 9.50. That's 163% return, and you had an over an 80% chance of winning the whole time. I don't really know why anybody trades any other way. You've got such a huge probability of winning and the amount of money you can bring in is incredible. So if you talk to options buyers, they always tell you, well, I don't wanna do credit spreads. They're too boring. You know, the return is too small. You know, you're limiting your return. That's really not true. When you take a look at trading credit spreads dynamically, where you're getting out of trades and locking in your credit when the, when the underlying moves against your sold strike. And then you take the opportunity to open another spread in the, in the other direction. And you know, if you've looked at charts and you've looked at stocks, you know that they move in ranges. It's rare that they have some huge breakout one way or the other. That's the rarity. So you just determine the range. It's fairly easy to draw a couple of lines, determine support and resistance, and sell outside of that in both directions. This is just a huge money maker. So if you'd like to, you know, I, I have to ask, would you like to bring in these kinds of credits with my help, especially when you consider your high probability of winning and the short hold time until expiration. And I would love to help you with this. This is what I do. We've got a lot of traders all over the world. One of the things that I think is so cool is I've got a lot of retired people that want to stay sharp. You know, I've got anybody that really understands numbers and probabilities loves this strategy. So I've got a lot of you know, engineers and retired engineers. I've got a chemist out in Chicago. I've got accountants. I've got any people, anybody, you know, math teachers, anybody that's into math, anybody that knows, you really need to stack the probabilities on your side. And you don't even you know, need to watch your trades very closely because you have these stops that are automatic. Um, this is an incredible way to trade. And I've got, I've got folks all over the country, all over the world, and a lot of people are trading these in their retirement accounts. They're trading these in their Roth accounts. 
So if we start with just a $10,000 account, what does our money grow to at just 5%? So what we actually get on these trades is about 25%. That's typically what we're shooting for. And I think I have this, you know, we, we, we're typically going for a 25% return, 20 to 25%. And we'll do that on both of these spreads. And as we saw, you can actually make a lot more money than that. But here's the, here's the reality. Here's the truth is that we need to hold some of our account back for buybacks and for margin. That's super, super important. And so we're not trading with our entire account. Plus with any kind of trading, even if you really stack the deck in your favor, you have to factor in losses. That's just how the markets work. Fortunately, they're not nearly as many as other traders have to deal with, but you still have the occasional loss. So if we just look at our percentages, let's say you win on eight or nine out of 10 trades, and that's kind of typical, but let's just say it's eight. You have to factor in the losses on those other two trades. So what I want to do is really bring the expectations down here. So if we're typically getting 25% every 10 days or every two weeks, what happens if we really, really cut that back? I think you could do 15%, you know, no problem. I think, I think even if you ran into a streak of bad luck, I think you could average 10% or, you know, certainly between five and 10%. But let's cut that all the way back and just say that it's just 5%. That's all you can manage. Let's see what a $10,000 account grows into in, in just a, um, a two year period of time. So, if you take a look at a graph here, here's what's amazing about this, is, is this is getting your winnings, whatever profit you made on your last trade, your last expiration, and you're now trading with that. So if you're just making 5% every two weeks for two years, after two years, 10,000 has grown to $104,000. And you're bringing in over $10,000 per month. And I've got people that have just completely changed their lifestyles. Uh, they're able to travel now. They absolutely don't worry about the bills. Um, they can do what they want. They can go where they want. And you can trade this strategy from anywhere you can get an internet connection because it's so relatively hands-free. You know, there's all these strategies you can look at out there and you could potentially make a lot of money, but you have to be Johnny on the spot with the mouse. You know, you have to be exactly knowing where to click and where to get out and where to enter the trade. You really have to be watching that thing. This isn't that. This is the kind of thing where every passing day, all of the things being equal, just put money into your account. So, um, you know, one of the things about these kind of charts, I think they're fantastic. I think they're really exciting for um, the potential. But what's true is, is we know that the market doesn't work this way. You know, we know that there's no uniform upline. Some months are better than others. Sometimes it jumps up really, really well. Sometimes you have a rough month and it goes down a little bit. But if you just average 5%, this is what your account turns into. And 5% is super attainable. So even if the timetable doesn't work out perfectly, like on the graph, what if it even comes close? And look at what you've learned. How to make money from anywhere in the world you can get an internet connection. So it's super important to me that you're successful with this strategy. So want to make sure that you've got everything you need to do really, really well. And that's having the right knowledge, the right information. So I've worked um, on this package for the last 10 years and I've added so much to it. It's got so much value. It's called the winning secret and it's dedicated to more income more often. You'll see how wide of a spread to sell, how much time to sell. What if the stock starts getting close to your spread? How many spreads to have on at one time? plus a big section on adjustments. And that's what to do if your position is threatened. You're gonna get everything you need to trade the strategy with confidence. And I really don't leave anything out. So let's just take a look at everything you get, all the components. To start off with, you get a 161 page downloadable ebook, complete with charts, graphs, um, pictures, everything you need to start trading profitably and stay that way. Plus you get a multi-chapter video series where you can hear and see exactly what to do to start generating income. And the videos are really great because I show you the charts, I show you what happens, I show you where to sell your spreads, where to get in. I talk about the risks, I talk about what to look out for. I teach you how to insulate yourself from these risks. I teach you how to put on these trades without having to watch your, your position so closely. 
You'll also gain access to our archived webinars so you can see and discover new strategies and ways to improve your returns and reduce your risk. And you'll have access to all of our new webinars for life as an owner of this package. So this isn't like a book or a tape set that sits on your shelf and, and is kind of static and kind of gets old over time. This is a dynamic package. So you buy it one time, you get into the website, you, it, it's, it's on the web, I add things to it. We add webinars, we add new information. I'm constantly bringing on new people, new traders, new ideas. And you get access to all of this for life as an owner of the package. You'll have your login and that's good forever. So no matter how much we add to this package, and I'm just, I'm just working on some new additions right now that we're gonna put in there that, are, that you're absolutely gonna love. No matter how much we add to it, you just pay one entry price to start off with and you're good. And I just gotta tell you, I sold this package uh, you know, several years ago on cruise ships to investors and they were really excited about it. We sold it for $2,500. People were delighted to get it. They were climbing over each other to have a chance to buy it. And I still hear from people today that are making money using these strategies from 10 years ago. And I've actually improved it hugely since then and, and actually reduced the price to the point where I think anybody can afford it. So I've added some bonuses here. And this first one is, is how to set automatic orders. So you get three videos that show you how to set up automatic orders with our favorite broker for spread trading. And these are videos that show you how to automate your trades so you don't have to constantly monitor them, providing a lot of peace of mind, knowing you can get out of a trade if you need to at the exact right time without having to watch your positions. I'll show you exactly where to sell your spreads and exactly how to sell them for the possibility of maximum gains with minimum risk. So this is where you and I, I just take you by the hand and I walk you through every week, I come out with a huge update, a really great update on Tuesday evenings. Comes out pretty late, but even if you're on the East Coast, you'll have a chance to read it Wednesday morning well before the market opens. And it's really four sections. It's very dynamic. I talk about, and you can see a little bit of it here. I show you a chart of the SPX. I show you where the market is heading. First, we talk about how our trades did the previous week. So you can really see how we're doing. And then we talk about where the market's headed and why there's some market commentary underneath here. Then we get into our brand new trades. There's two new trades every week. One's more aggressive, one's more conservative for your Roth account. And then at the very bottom, we get into um, how our existing trades are doing. So you're never, you never have to wonder. You're never left out in the dark. I really wanna hold your hand. And, in, and even during the week, if something happens with the market, there's a new development, you know, there's a breakout one way or another, I'll come out with an update. And if you, if you want, we've even got a way for you to give us your phone number so I can text you. When there's a new trader, there's a new opportunity. So probably the most exciting thing that's happened in the options market um, since options were invented is the weeklies. And we've touched on that. And we've talked about that a little bit. But the weeklies act a little bit different. They've got different time decay uh, curves to them. And there's ways to really take advantage of the weeklies for, once again, maximum gains with minimum risk. So I put together a whole 10 module video course and digital book just on trading the weeklies. This is probably the most popular uh, education we've ever put out. And um, people always want to buy it all by itself. And you can't really do that now. I'm including that in this package just to give you a, just a huge extra bonus to really make this attractive for you. And then this is, this is huge as well. So we want you to trade with the broker that has the best chance of making you money. That's really your partner in this. And to make sure you have everything going for you possible, you, we're also gonna send you a special link once you sign up to open an account with our favorite broker and, and that's Thinkorswim. And once that account is open, we'll put you in touch with our dedicated team at TD Ameritrade to get you special commission rates to save you money while you're learning. So most of the time there's a ticket charge. It just makes no sense to trade one or two contracts. It's too expensive. Commissions eat up all your gains. So we work out a special deal with them just for our subscribers so that you can get in there and you can get a special rate so you can actually make money while you're just starting out. And this, this is huge. Um, plus you'll get the individual attention you need to be successful. So with this special, you get a one-on-one -on -one orientation to make your setup, sure you're set up correctly, including getting the right brokerage account with the best commission. So they can walk you through how to open that account. And so we've got somebody that, um, on our staff, they're gonna get with you a 
one-on-one -on -one phone conversation. They'll show you how to open an account, how to navigate the site, how to get the most out of um, the letter when it comes out Tuesday night, how to place your trades, really all the basics you need to, to, to really get the most out of the service. But we're gonna go one step further. So on our staff, we have personal mentoring, personal coaching. And this is one step above, and this is individual attention. And this is this incredible system where we have our mentor that can actually see your computer screen and that you guys can actually trade and find trades and find really good setups together. Now, obviously they're not gonna recommend specific trades, but they can show you how to find a really good trade and they can show you how to set up your computer just like mine, how to analyze the trade and how to give yourself the highest probability of winning and the beauty of this is it's personal one-on-one -on -one attention. There's nobody else on the call. And it, you, you do it through GoToWebinar, the exact same system that you're looking at right now. And um, we're gonna include one session of coaching with this package. It's a 45 minute session, session and um, it's tailor-made to your learning pace, your skill level. And we've got this incredible mentor right now. He's got a PhD in finance. He's incredible at options. He's really incredible at futures. He's really good at seasonal trading. He knows what we do. He's a huge believer in selling options instead of buying them. And he can just do this huge amount of good. Now this session is normally um, $395 all by itself. And that's included in the package. So in short, this is a train you can't afford to miss. You don't want to miss. This is too good. Even if you like the trading that you're doing right now, even if you like speculative trading, I think you're gonna love stacking the deck in your favor um, with a whole bunch of trades you don't have to worry about. So if you take 80 or 90% of your money like I do and then just do these trades and they're great trades, occasionally if one of them doesn't work out, you're stopped out at a minimal loss and you move on to the next one. The odds say you're gonna win, you're setting up a mathematical exp expectation of winning and I've got a package that where I really stick with you for, for the duration. Like I say, you have lifetime access to the package. The subscription is $99 a month, but um, your first month is included. So the whole idea is that first month for it to make you enough money to pay for everything and everything is profit from there on out. So I put, a, I, I put together a really special package for you, um, for being on this call, for watching this. Um, for the, being part of the Investor Inspiration Group. And you're gonna get lifetime access to the package section of the Winning Secrets site, including everything that we've talked about. You'll get a subscription to my uh, Winning Secret letter that's published every Tuesday evening with updates. Um, I hold your hand through every trade. We really talk about the probabilities, why we're doing the trade. One of the greatest things about the subscription is you get to see the thinking behind the trades. And I really wanna make you independent. I wanna make you so that you can do this on your own. But once again, it's a lot more fun to make money together than apart. So the subscription is really, really cool. And then you get, you get an orientation and then you also get your individual first coaching session. So you really have a handle on what's going on. This is the most complete package we've ever offered. This would be worth far more than 2,500 of those people that were buying it years ago. But I put together um, a price that combines everything and it is so attractive. I really want you to go and check it out for yourself and really see everything described and everything that you're going to get. Um, and I've got a special URL set up just for you. It's up here at the top. It's $1,000-payday.com. And 1,000 is numbers. You can see it right up here at the top of the screen. In fact, I'm going to get out my little pen here and underline it. So it's right here. It's $1,000-payday.com. I encourage you to go there check it out, go ahead and get the package and get started. Once again, your first month is included. So, you know, all you have to do is just, you know, you know, get going. We hold your hand through the whole thing. We're going to show you the setups. And then I, I do a ton of research to really come up with the trades. And we've got a, a really good track record. We're the only ones I know of that publish our track record publicly for everyone to see. And we do really, really well. And I think this is going to be a heck of a way for you to grow your money and grow your cash flow. Um, so we're just about out of time. I don't know if there's some questions that I can answer. I would love to be able to do that if you've got questions. Um, so let's just take a look real quick. 
Renee, do we have time to answer questions or are we are we all done here? What's what's our story? Uh, yep, you can stick around and answer questions. That's fine. Yeah, that sounds good. Um, let me just take a look here. I don't know which ones are mine. So a lot of these are from Mike, probably the previous presenter. So you, if you have a question, just go ahead and type it in. Okay, it says, I currently have a TOS account. Do I have to open a new account to qualify for the special commission rates? No, you don't. All you have to do is call our office and we'll get you in touch with the team. And a lot of this depends on how many contracts you're trading. Um, but we can kind of give you an idea of the range of commissions that Thinkorswim ch charges. <clears throat> Excuse me, if you're just trading one or two contracts, I think the setup that we have will be really helpful. If you're trading more, you might already be at the, the best level. And we can just kind of tell you what it is. Okay, it says, what else? Okay, we have some more questions coming in. Um, how far out in time do you, uh, do you put on the spread? So that's that one and a half to two and a half weeks, but in actual calendar days, that turns out to be anywhere from 10 days to 17 days. And on the longer time frame, sometimes if it's to our advantage, we'll just close the spread early and lock in our gain. Um, I took one of your courses, how do I regain my access? And that comes from TJ. TJ, just call our office and we'll look you up in the computer and we'll get you going. If you forgot your access information, we'll get you back in. Um, how does pattern day trading work with Thinkorswim? Um, and I don't know if pattern day trading is a specific um, course. Maybe that's something you heard about today. That's kind of not my, my area of expertise. But I do know that Thinkorswim gets us really, really good fills on our spreads, which is super, super important. And they give us a lot of really good tools and um, they're reasonable. They're reasonable commissions and a lot of time we can get filled inside the spread. Um, Okay, and somebody refers to Tom Sosnoff and his new Tastyworks platform. Okay, one of the problems I have with that, and I love Tom. He's an old buddy. I, we started working together way back when he first opened right around 2000. So it's been almost, um, well, it's been about 18 years now. So um, Tom's a great guy. Uh, I love everything that he's done for the options industry and all the education and all that. But the reason that we haven't switched over to Tastyworks is they have no virtual trading platform which is a really big problem for people that are just trying to get their feet wet and they don't want to risk money because, you know, in the beginning you can make mistakes. And so Thinkorswim has a really good virtual trading platform so you can really learn without, you know, risking real money. And I think that's super important. Um, somebody says the minimum investment of 25,000 to day trade stocks. So we don't really day trade stocks, um, you know, and you can, you can start with an account as little as five thousand dollars so you don't have to have a, a huge account and you can you know kind of start making money right off the bat um let's see what else and i think we're almost out of time so if you i can take one or two more questions if if somebody's wondering but um really want you to go check out and everything you get because it's the most complete package we've ever offered i think we're the only ones out there that i know of that give one-on-one -on -one attention and we include that so um, this is a great way to trade. It's a great way to stack the probabilities. And I think most importantly, um, take a lot of the stress out of trading. And I think that's just as important as uh, in many cases is the amount of money that you're making. So um, I want to thank you for being here. It was really fun to kind of show you this. Um, we, we do really well. Uh, we've got a lot of satisf satisfied subscribers and I'd love you to join our group. Um, do you give periodic updates if a trade goes bad and needs to be adjusted? Yes, we absolutely do. And I tell people exactly how to adjust it. And as far as what to adjust and how to adjust, you know, that changes with each situation. But I cover that in the package and I also cover that in the updates.